All right, I am back, you guys. Fortunately, um, I was trying to do another recording, but Elgato is screwing up. So hopefully it all goes well this time. But without further ado, let's go Ford Raptor, a monster truck spec. Hopefully all will go well. Um, during the, I guess you can say like the lost recordings, I was getting the hang of it. It was actually pretty nice. I really did enjoy it. Um, I actually don't really have much complaints with this. Like, there were some monster truck specs I tested out before. Like, the... I think it was the 370Z that I actually had a lot of problems with. And I'm not sure. I don't think I had a struggle with the Mustang. But right now, I'm really liking this Raptor. Unfortunately, I missed that. Crap. No oh, freak. I, um, is there a reason why my truck is just like halfway in this little uh, dome? It looks very disturbing. Oh my god, wait, am I supposed to, okay, we're doing this now. Let me, let me get out of this area, that, that area is just like really freaking trippy. I was about to say, like I've actually gone on this course before. But I don't believe I done it competition wise. But I did come here like on my on a, one of the bikes. I think it was my was it the Ducati monster that I had, the Perspect, and I actually drove around here. And it's actually a really fun area when you do bikes. Like I really I don't know if they do, but they should really have they should really like allow you to go on these competition wise with bikes. I feel like that's just gonna be a lot more fun because when I was just coming here on my little Ducati bike, oh my gosh, I was doing so many tricks. It was unreal. I really did enjoy it. So I'm not sure if it is a thing, but if it isn't, I really say Ivory Tower should really think about putting bikes into uh, the monster truck stunt areas because oh my gosh if you haven't done that yet i highly recommend just taking a bike out to one of these places and just go ham it is a lot of fun but i think one of the things i was going to be talking about earlier was oh my goodness for some reason this wants to act all retarded now um but i'm actually at the moment expecting a car part to come in uh, actually today is supposed to be arriving. I've been waiting for quite a while now, but I'm actually supposed to be getting a Megan Racing strut bar for my Lancer Rally Art, and I'm actually really excited. I'm going to be doing a video on that once I finally get it, but that is the end. I think that's actually my best score too. But hopefully later on today, I actually get the strut bar. I actually also did get a, um a car vlogging mount so i can do car vlogs now so definitely expect those to come in the future i'm gonna be going to another monster truck era just so i can test that out too but those are just a couple of videos to come i will be doing the recordings together though so the unboxings and uh the installation and driving will probably be done together but i'm actually really really excited because i've been really con not con Oh my gosh, about to burp and hiccup at the same time. That's just such a weird feeling. But I've been really thinking about doing car vlogs for quite a while now. Actually, I'm not sure if I talked about it, but one of the things that really inspired me was when I did my little day in the life video, which you can still find on my channel. Uh, I was actually doing a bit of car vlogging, but I was doing it, I was holding the camera by hand. I did have a section where I did put it on the car but I think I took that out at least majority of that session out because the car is vibrating too much and it was really making like the quality look very very bad so that's one of the reasons why I actually wanted to get a camera mount for the car because I think that would just make things so much better I actually remember this course too. This was the course I believe I drove the Monster Truck 370Z and was 
really not having it. Oh my gosh, it was not... It wasn't too fun, you know. Even though I love the 370Z, it's not made for all specs. I think if you're going to do a monster truck, you should probably get either a truck or maybe the Fiat because I know a lot of people want to do a monster truck build on that, which I might do maybe sometime in the future. But at the moment, I'm just going to stick with this Ford Raptor. Just get the basics out of the way and then later on, I'll probably go have some fun. One of the things I actually remember that I've yet to do a build on is a couple drift spec builds. I've been really wanting to do, oh my gosh, what, is, what am I doing? Can I get off the castle, please? One of the things I've been wanting to doing actually was, I forgot about the Subaru BRZ is actually in the game. Or I'm not sure if it's the BRZ or the GT86, but it's pretty much the same thing. But I forgot that that's in the game. And also the Mazda RX-7 is also in the game. And I need to do builds on both. I'm most likely going to be doing drift specs on both. But I've been really needing to do that. So probably sometime in the future, I will be doing builds on that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, freaking doing that. Uh, is it called a Enzo where they do pretty much a front wheelie? I definitely need to really pick it up i need to get a lot more points really wish you can get points for wheeling like come on that that should have been a thing but whatever we're gonna keep we're gonna keep on going i'm not sure if there are any other bills i really am dying to do i do want to uh do a ducati perspec build because i re not the ducati the ninja i really do like that um the bike even though i've never ridden one because again i don't drive bikes ride bikes i'm not sure if it's drive or or it should be right i'm not sure how it's supposed to be said but you guys get what i'm trying to go at i've never ridden a bike before but i've seen the ninjas a lot and you know just the name alone it really excites me so i really want to do a build on that but there isn't many build videos i have planned after after this happens i might do um i still haven't done a dirt bike i'm just trying to think of like the main things i still have to get out of the way like right now i already have my monster truck build um i'm gonna do this event again just to so, see if i can get do better but i have my monster truck build now i have the drift spec and a drag spec i have a per spec bike I do know you can get a circuit spec bike and obviously the dirt spec so I'm not sure if you can do a raid spec as well but if you can then I'll probably be doing those sometime in the future as well but outside of that I'm probably just gonna really go into like more personal desire builds so like I said the RX-7 the BRZ are definitely my top next builds i also want to do the skyline drift spec build because i think i'll have the most fun with that because pretty much every time i go drifting now especially in the snow i really only just go for the skyline per spec i don't even whip out the 37 my 370z drift spec just because i feel like it's a lot easier to drift around in the per spec uh, Skyline than it is the Drift Spec 370Z, which sounds pretty weird, but I think a part of it might have to do with the all-wheel drive. And that might be one of the reasons why I really do enjoy the Skyline more than anything else. So I'm definitely going to be doing a Drift Spec build on that. Definitely look forward to that. I think a lot of my builds later on are going to be just Drift Spec builds, just because, again... When I'm not really recording or anything, I'm pretty much just drifting around. So I want to make builds that are definitely going to be used, if that makes any sense. Like, if I just did a, say, a Fiat monster truck build, it's going to be fun to make a video of it. But I'm probably not going to be using it outside of that, unless... If I were to actually go to a summit event and it required it, then yeah.
but what the heck just happened there? That was weird. I'm gonna keep on going on though. Um, just to keep up some momentum, I'm not getting these points. That's actually really frustrating. But yeah, like after, like unless it's gonna be required of me, probably not gonna be uh, riding around in it anytime soon. Just kind of, it's just not in my interest. Again, drifting is kind of like the only thing I did now in racing games after I beat them. That's what I did in Need for Speed, and that's what I do in The Crew. So, definitely gonna pay a lot of attention to that. I don't know what got me to do a little, I don't, don't even think it's called a rant, but like a little tangent on that, but whatever, that's, oh my gosh, I actually cleared it. No, I want to get the little thousand point. Oh my goodness, please get on your wheels, thank you. Need to go back and get that thousand point. I'm not sure. Ooh, I want that thousand point actually. I think that's more reasonable. Get yes, I just barely got that. So we're gonna do one more trick just before we end out the event, and there we go. Clean, clean flip. Did not hit the 25k, but I say that was still a good run. I think that was better than the previous one. So, as long as I improve, that's all that matters. Blew it out of the water. While we're 4,500, I want to say 45,000, that would be crazy. But 4,500, that is definitely insane. I think you guys get the idea of where I'm going at with this build. And, yeah. Now, just going to do a lot of police chases because that's the fastest way to actually level up these cars so hope you the video till next time this has been your boy taking the heat and i am out peace